In this video, I'm going to review the renowned machine learning specialization by DeepLearning.ai and Stanford Online so that you can know if it's worth it to spend your time. We are going to look at the specialization from five different aspects, a general overview, the content and structure, any prerequisites that I think you need to know, how long it took me to do, and whether or not I think it's worth it. Let's go. The machine learning specialization is an online course taught by Andrew Ng. If you don't know who Andrew Ng is, you should. He's basically famous in the world of machine learning. The course was recently updated in 2022 to include Python. You can find it online on Coursera or the deeplearning.ai website. I probably first learned about this course on some blog post, but it's mentioned on almost every single list of machine learning courses that you find on the internet. So it was a no brainer for me to go through it. I actually went through the first version of this course when I first started learning, but this one promised updated material and I didn't do the programming assignments the first time. So I thought it'd be worth it to go through it again. Now let's talk about the structure of this specialization. It's divided up into three different courses and each course is divided up into weeks of material. It doesn't have to take you a week to go through the material. That's just what they named them. The three different courses are supervised machine learning, regression and classification, advanced learning algorithms, and lastly, unsupervised learning and recommender systems. Within each course, there are video lectures, quizzes, and labs. Some of them are optional, but I highly recommend going through all of them. Some of the labs, if you don't do them, you'll have a tough time with the actual graded labs. I thought that the videos were phenomenal and really easy to follow. I thought the quizzes were short and easy and you get unlimited retries on them. So it's not a big deal if you mess up. And I thought that the programming assignments were pretty good. Some of the programming assignments, specifically the optional ones, don't actually require you to do any coding. You just run each of the cell blocks and follow along. They're all in Jupyter notebooks that are hosted on the Coursera platform. And for the graded programming assignments, those actually require you to write some code, but it's very minimal. It basically lays out all the code, but there's a piece missing, like specific steps for gradient descent. And then it asks you to fill those in. If you ever get stuck, there's hidden sections that basically provide the whole solution for you one step at a time. So they'll reveal a little bit of the answer and then a little bit more. So it's really easy to complete them. Honestly, I thought the programming assignments were gonna be a lot harder before I took this course. And I was pleasantly surprised to see how easy they were. At the same time, I was a little disappointed that they were too easy. They just fed you the answer if you needed it. Now let's talk about the content and what you'll actually learn. You're going to learn different supervised learning algorithm techniques like regression, classification, algorithms like linear regression, logistic regression, neural networks, decision trees, techniques like regularization, gradient descent, the atom optimizer, and the bias versus variance trade-off. You'll also learn about unsupervised learning algorithms and techniques like k-means, anomaly detection, and recommender systems like collaborative filtering and content-based filtering. You'll also learn a little bit about reinforcement learning and you'll learn a little bit about TensorFlow and NumPy. Definitely don't expect to be an expert on TensorFlow and NumPy when you finish this course, but definitely expect to have a really good understanding of all the different algorithms and techniques that Andrew Ng mentions. He does a great job of going into the details and explaining the math in a way that makes it understandable. I think that's the main thing that I liked about this course. In the video lectures, he explains everything very clearly. I don't think there was ever a point when I was stuck, or at least not for too long. I could always follow along with what he was saying and it made sense. I guess my main complaints about this course is that he didn't go over even more algorithms but he does focus on ones that are widely used in the industry. And this is just an introductory course. Now let's talk about the prerequisites. What are you gonna to need to know before you start taking this course? On their course website, they say, learners should understand basic coding, for loops, functions, if else statements, and high school level math, arithmetic, algebra. Any additional math concepts will be explained along the way. I kind of agree with this. I think that that's really the bare minimum of what you'll need to get through the course. But I think that having a better understanding of Python and some of the math concepts will really help you grasp everything that he talks about. But there's no need to understand all of calculus or all of linear algebra. You really just need to know what the high level concepts are. It would be really helpful to know things like what a matrix is and what a derivative is for linear algebra and calculus. And for Python, it would be helpful to know a little bit about NumPy. And definitely don't memorize things like 
the fundamental theorem of calculus or know how to do u substitution. That's completely unnecessary. To give Andrew Ng some credit, he does break down some things like what a derivative is, but I really think learning these in a separate place that's dedicated to teaching derivatives and calculus and linear algebra is better. So how long did this take me? Every time I sat down, I would start a timer and stop it when I finished. And at the end of the course, I added it all up. In total, it took me 24 hours, 39 minutes, and 52 seconds of focused studying. But obviously this wasn't all in one sitting. This was spread across many days. I think it took me a little bit over a week to finish with dedicated three to six hours of studying every single day. But one thing to note is that I'm not a complete beginner. I'm already familiar with a lot of this material. So if you are new, expect it to take you a bit longer to get through. Also, pro tip, you can watch the video at faster speeds. I personally did 1.5 times the normal speed. So is it worth it? I think we should first talk about the cost. If you want to do all the programming assignments and get a certificate at the end, then you're going to have to pay $50 every month for taking it. I think that beginners should absolutely take this course and consider paying for the certificate and programming assignments. I've read online that this is one of the certificates that recruiters actually give some value to. Also, the programming exercises will be very helpful for the beginners. If you're more of an intermediate learner who already knows a lot of the math behind all of these algorithms, then I don't think this is worth paying for. The programming assignments aren't going to teach you that much more. You're definitely not going to become a TensorFlow expert by the end of this course. And also, if you already know the math and you're an intermediate learner, I don't think you should even audit it because you've already put in the time elsewhere. But if you're not super comfortable with some of these basic algorithms and the math behind them, take the course and just audit it for free. If you have any thoughts on this resource or have any other resources that you'd like to share, please put them in the comment section below so that I and others can go through them. Let's learn this stuff together. And if you like this content and wanna see more from me, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.